Well, hello guys, what's up? I'm back on my new computer, actually, which is great. So, you know, everything's running a lot smoother than it used to, which is excellent. I'm not having any problems with my RAM anymore, which is great. So hopefully we have no problems rendering these videos out after they're done. And I was like, I don't know why, but my videos used to crash, like my, well, my rendering programs used to crash when rendering them out. And I think it was the cause of my RAM seeing is how I would see my RAM jump all the way up to 100% and then the program would crash. But, yeah, and, and enough about that, enough about that. We're back with some playing mods of horror. And we're going to do a uh, Followed by Death Chapter 1. This released yesterday, I believe. It was like, when I last time I looked at it, it was like four hours ago it was released. So technically it was released this morning. And the rating of it already is 9.4 on Desora. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to check it out. We're going to play it for playing mods of horror, seeing as how it's a new one. And let's see, life has its own ways of making one deadly thing haunt you for the rest of your life. Oh yeah, oh yeah, another thing, I lost all my old files, so yeah, I guess no more machinima that was going to work out, because I lost all my scripts and everything, so that's done. But yeah, alright, um, haunt you for the rest of your life, but at the same time, you have your own destination to fulfill before that one deadly thing finally gets to you and ends it all. Okay, so let's start. Sorry about that, I got kind of close to the mic right there. I was like, whoosh, I got all into reading it, like, loading. But still have that weird problem with things going non-responding. On the 27th of February, 1813, I was a farmer in Hastings. My wife and I lived in this nice Hastings. farmhouse we had in the woods. I like this guy's accent. Forest near our farmland. During this one night, I woke up... I would love to be do, like, do one of these voices, cried. you know? It took me a little time to realize I think it'll be awesome. the voices I heard were not from the nightmares I had. That it the voices I heard were not heard from the nightmares night. I had. I went there to take a look. Oh, whoa. Instant control. Why can't I turn around? I want to see what's behind me. Okay, fine. Then. I'll just walk backwards. Think. Think you're so intelligent. Game. Oh my god. The game designer doesn't want me to look behind me. Okay. Let's hold down shift, because everyone knows that when you hold down shift, you could run. And I was actually, before I got my new computer, I was actually playing one of the other mods I had selected, which was a uh, Half-Life mod called Paranoia. But sadly, it, it wasn't really as scary as it should be. And what What's up with this? Why is my, like, input? Ah. I don't know. Fuck this smooth mouse. I don't know. Okay. Oh my god, my mouse is like so stupid. Why is it? Maybe, maybe that wasn't a problem. Maybe I'm just supposed to like look stupidly. Whatever. Put that back on. But uh, you probably could hear my case fans by right now. But it's not even my case fan actually. It's like my, my CPU fan. For some reason, it's just been getting loud lately. Why am I? Okay, I guess I'm supposed to look at the stuff that it wants me to look at. Okay, yeah, that's what it seems like. Okay. But, like, I don't know, like, ever since I put it in my case, even though this case is, has a lot more air fro- The fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But even though this case has a lot more, uh, airflow and shit, it, um, for some reason, like, I don't know, maybe that's why I can actually hear it, because of the fact that it's so open. I was scared. Okay, he was scared. At that point, I knew that my life would from now on change in a way it had never been before. Where am I walking to? Okay. As I no longer heard the beast's voice behind me, I saw the old Harmon's castle in front of me. Ooh. I heard stories of its legendary fairy tales about its ancient cult and it's death defying way they treat unwelcome guests. I never got to think of its foggy art that I would spend the worst times of my life in its frightening and terrifying dungeon areas. I like this. this it's like I don't have to commentate. <laughs> Ooh. This better not be copyrighted or I'm gonna kick this guy's ass. <laughs> this damn audio music song. So I shall talk over it! With enthusiasm, I guess. For that one couple of second. One couple of second. Yeah, I think I think we could make that work. That one couple of second. 
forgot what I was talking about. Something about, oh yeah, yeah. Something about my case fans and my CPU fan and... Yeah, so I don't know, hopefully I get more fans and even out. I woke up in a warm and comforting place. I apparently had passed out and didn't remember a thing. Someone had tracked me in here. From the looks of the place, my best guess was that I was inside the castle. I still didn't quite understand what was the meaning of that monster that attacked me earlier on the same day. Now was the time to find answers. Okay. Is it on fire? Oh no. That would have been cool. I guess that's what this game is all about, just grabbing shit and throwing it, right? Damn, this is fucking dark. This must be really dark and recording. Hold up. Uh Whoa. Nah, that's a, I guess it's a little better. Oh, that's just a normal hawk. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, as you guys know, playing Rise of Horror is basically mods mods of games with horror aspects added to them, or of the horror genre. And I'm going to try to get as scared as possible. Because I, I, I get scared pretty easily. Though, a lot of the times I do emphasize my scariness just for your enjoyment and entertainment. Um, I am kind of a bitch when it comes to scary shit. I am. I'm not gonna lie. But, it's, it's, I'm not easily set off, but sometimes I'll just do it just because I think it'll be funny. And it, and, it, and also, it, I like scare myself. Because if you're not scared, you know, it's always more fun to scare yourself. Because when you scare yourself, you're scared. If that makes sense. Because you're scaring yourself, so why wouldn't you be scared? It is a pretty nice place. Rare books. Maybe rare. <laughs> okay. Tinder box. Ooh. What was that? The rug? Now I'm behind the rug. I like this game. <coughs> Amnesia, anyway. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <sighs> My frames are kind of odd. They're like saying like 28, 30, around there. Whatever. Found you I found you lying down in our front yard, so I brought you inside. I didn't find any serious damage in... What? I didn't find any serious damage in you, so you should be okay. He was in me? Oh, okay. If I'm not here when you wake up, I might be somewhere in the quarters area. You had some luck this time. Our master, Francis Harmon, will not be happy if he heard that I brought an outsider in the castle. But he's been missing for over two weeks now. Please come find me, Joseph. Okay. I could have read that with a better voice, but... Whatever. It's okay. It's okay. I did, I did enough work. Okay. And that's empty as well, and... You're empty as well. Mm-hmm. Man, they don't want to give me nothing. Bullshit. I came from that room, right? Yeah, and then I went in that little closet area. Why is that door open? Alright, we're gonna check it out later. Locked. Okay. Hmm. Damn, these drawers and shit are horrible open. Almost like you could just like when you when you would click it like that, it would automatically open like either way. So that way it's like you don't have to slide your fucking mouse. Okay, I got like maps and shit. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Mm. 
Okay, we'll go to the stadium. I don't like how those open, so I'm gonna close behind me. Okay, what do we got? We got books, 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 books. We can grab the books too. <laughs> Fuck yo, books. That's funny. Why was I able to throw all these books? Hmm. That's cool. Oh, tinder box, tinder box, tinder box. Got the tinder boxes. <sighs> I don't really know nothing about Amnesia. Never played the first one. Never will. Well, the first one being by the actual story. And I never will because that shit is long and it's been done so many times so hopefully these horror mods are more scary than the actual game because that's what that's the, the whole point of me playing the mods rather than the main game because they should be scarier otherwise what's the point of making a mod and what the fuck is the point of this place it has like nothing except one tender box like really okay Whatever random mass place and everything's so fucking dark in this game. Do, 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 do. Fuck you plant, bitch. Why is this why is there no door but yet there's Okay. Thought I saw something in there. No, I don't want the book. Close the door. Give me that one. Fuck. Damn, this sucks. It's like nothing. And I'm all out of iced tea. I'm not liking these noises. I don't know, but I got a feeling this is where the scary shit goes down. The fuck? What a weird choice to have on top of your staircase. <clears throat> oh yeah, I'm totally gonna put a, uh, like an ink in my damn drawer. <laughs> like with the feathers still inside that shit. Mm -hmm. That must be glitch on top of that. <clears throat> the fuck is that noise? <laughs> okay. Why would I want to smash this for the book? Why is my screen doing that? What am I like dying from gas? They are ancient creatures of the dam. They follow the ambition to steal Oh, the ga the gatherers, okay. To steal an innocent soul in to progress in life. It is said that the a living creature that sacrifices his or her soul to the grey curse for ultimate power becomes damned and lost in darkness forever. After days of their in their hatred of mind, they devour their curse inside them and become the gatherer, grasping for death and pain. But that is not true. We have found a way to get over it and continue life without it. The negative consequences. Oh, without the negative. No, I I always throw fucking words in it. And that's how come I don't like reading shit out loud. We need to study the great curse more to uncover the ultimate secret whose existence no one has ever realized to be true, David. Is David... Isn't that the guy's name from, like, the campaign story? And these fucking draws are long. Look at that shit. 
long ass drawers. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> drawers. Okay. Guess I'm going downstairs. With this weird fucking howling house. Not liking that noise that I just heard. Oh yeah, and I'm playing with my headphones on unlike normal because at the end of Cry of Fear, you know, I mean, it wasn't as scary and you know, the, no, the noises play a huge aspect in games like like these. Alright, don't want to trip myself in case I gotta run. Hey, what's up with you? Yeah, why you got that knife for? Well, let me get that knife. I need that knife. <laughs> I'm gonna stab people <laughs> like some little fucking like a derb knife. The fuck happened to the drawers in this place? I just fucking took the drawer out. Okay. I don't understand what the fuck's wrong with my guy. Like, he keeps having... The, oh, what the sec. And damn, that fucking CPU fan is loud as fuck. What do he, like, flies? Weird. Huh. Okay. Ooh, what the fuck? I don't trust you. Yep, I do not trust you. Your head did not come off. I don't know. I don't want to know. The lever. I think it's the best time to stop playing the piano. I'm gonna play the piano. Blah, 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 blah. What a weird lid for a piano. My piano, like, kind of folds up and then it slides in. Like, through underneath the thing. But, like, mine's like a baby grand baby. <laughs> the baby grand baby. I don't fucking know what the hell it is. It's a nice piano, though. No one plays it, just sits there. Okay. I is closing the door behind me. I don't think closing the door behind me was a good idea, now that I did that. Okay, got chemicals. Why can't I not take... I see a lighter over there. Why can't I not take that candle holder with me? Oh, no, 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 The way this game works with its darkness is so odd. The fuck? Those are some tough bottles. Mm -hmm. Always remember that we hold the cellar spare key in the stage room here in the quarters area. If you need us, you'll find us usually at the cellar, Henry. Reminder for David. Okay, who the fuck David is? And in the quarters area. The quarters mean like the living area, right? What? What did I just witness? I don't even know what the fuck I just witnessed, but <laughs> scared this shit out of me. I didn't even see nothing, but yet my heart jumped, so... Yeah. Whatever. I'm scared now, though. Yeah, like, these are, like, the scariest things. When you're playing something scary, and nothing's happening. Let's just fucking run. The fuck? The fuck is wrong with his face? Okay. Because I'm totally going to go in this fucking door even though it opens me. And I'm jumping out of the fucking window. I ain't with that shit. And I'm scared now. Okay. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. We can do this. We can do this. Local history. So what am I gonna need to get like a 
crowbar to break through these planks. Like a saw or some shit. I don't fucking know. I don't like how dark it is. I can't read whatever the fuck this is. And it won't budge. Got books. Ooh. Damn. Something's in there. How do I... Is there a way to open this? I hear something in there. I guess not. I just fucking glitched the dirt wall. Okay. Excellent. There was a downstairs area. Hmm. Okay, okay. I don't know, I'm doing a very quiet commentary right now, aren't I? I should totally liven this up. Because this is like the worst commentary ever. Okay. Got another one of you things. You're empty. This is like, I'd rather sleep on a floor type of bed, you know? Hmm. I hate these kind of games, dude. These are like the ones with the fucking jump scares. It doesn't help that I always do this like after I wake up. I can actually see outside now. Now this is what the fuck I would be doing. Breaking through the fucking window. Shit, I've seen some picture change this fucking face at me. What kind of crazy guy would still want to be in this place? The fuck? Don't know what the fuck made that noise. But I don't like it. And I kind of want to turn on a candle. But I don't know if I do like that. It causes like the lighting to go all crazily stupid. So, whatever. Books. What does that say? Storage. They say they keep the key to the dungeon thingy in the storage area. No, I said in like the like the common living area, didn't he? The common area, the, the house, I don't know what the fuck they said. It was like the place where people live type of area, I think. That's a weird spot to have a bookcase, ain't it? Oh, okay, I'm gonna totally keep a fucking bird. This place sucks. I would be like scared of shit right now. <sighs> Run in there. Just fucking do it. Okay. Don't be a bitch. Just fucking run up in there, Drew. It's all good. You run up in there, the fuck they gonna do, huh? They gonna pop out and scare you and be like, fuck you. I'm already in here. Now tick my fucking hands and I'll shove it in your face, bitch! And that's how I feel. You understand me now? You feel me? Alright, well, I got a feeling that if I take up that key, I'm gonna trigger something. So let's try to, uh... 
Even though I doubt there's anything in these fucking drawers, seeing as how the guy doesn't like to put anything in them. I'm gonna still open every single fucking... I don't know. Because that's how I was taught to play video games. Sorry if you don't like it. This is my fucking channel. I don't do shit for you. I do it for your entertainment. And if you ain't entertained... Then I don't know what to tell you. Well, apparently I didn't trigger nothing. <gasps> I guess I triggered something. Is there a monster? Fuck, I'm scared now. Okay. Let's go. We're running. We don't... We don't give a fuck. GTFO. Like, I'm not fucking with that shit. I'm a lot alone in the castle. The monsters have followed me all the way here. Excellent. Fucking excellent. I'm scared. Alright, well, um, I think I'm gonna stop it for here for this session, guys. But, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed me getting a heart attack, kind of, for a split second. Because it wasn't as scary as I thought it was gonna be. But, it looks like this one is a lot better than Paranoia. So, um, hopefully the mod lasts a little bit longer. I don't know, because this is only, like, part one story bullshit type way. But, um, yeah, till next time, thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, and I'm almost at 100 subscribers. So I'm, I'm really happy for that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do something special for that. Don't you worry. But, uh, thanks for watching. Peace.